Leonardo Wilhelm DiCaprio is an American actor and film producer. Known for his work in biographical and period films, he is the recipient of numerous accolades, including an Academy Award, a British Academy Film Award, and three Golden Globe Awards. Wikipedia Born, November 11, 1974, age 49 years, Los Angeles, California, United States. Partner, Vittoria Soretti. Height, 1.83 meters. Parents, George DiCaprio, Ermelin and Birkin. Title, United Nations Messenger of Peace, designated 2014. Few actors in the world have had a career quite as diverse as Leonardo DiCaprio's. DiCaprio has gone from relatively humble beginnings, as a supporting cast member of the sitcom Growing Pains, 1985, and low-budget horror movies, such as Critters 3, 1991, to a major teenage heartthrob in the 1990s, as the hunky lead actor in movies such as Romeo and Juliet, 1996, and Titanic, 1997, to then become a leading man in Hollywood blockbusters, made by internationally renowned directors such as Martin Scorsese and Christopher Nolan. Leonardo Wilhelm DiCaprio was born in Los Angeles, California, the only child of Ermelin DiCaprio, Nayanden Birkin, and former comic book artist George DiCaprio. His father is of Italian and German descent, and his mother, who is German-born, is of German, Ukrainian and Russian ancestry. His middle name, Wilhelm, was his maternal grandfather's first name. Leonardo's father had achieved minor status as an artist and distributor of cult comic book titles, and was even depicted in several issues of American Splendor, the cult semi-autobiographical comic book series by the late Harvey Picar, a friend of George's. Leonardo's performance skills became obvious to his parents early on, and after signing him up with a talent agent who wanted Leonardo to perform under the stage name Lenny Williams, DiCaprio began appearing on a number of television commercials and educational programs. DiCaprio began attracting the attention of producers, who cast him in small roles in a number of television series, such as Roseanne, 1988, and The New Lassie, 1989, but it wasn't until 1991 that DiCaprio made his film debut in Critters 3, 1991, a low-budget horror movie, while Critters 3, 1991, did little to help showcase DiCaprio's acting abilities, it did help him develop his showreel and attract the attention of the people behind the hit sitcom Growing Pains, 1985, in which Leonardo was cast in the Cousin Oliver role of a young homeless boy who moves in with the Seavers. While DiCaprio's stint on Growing Pains, 1985, was very short, as the sitcom was axed the year after he joined, it helped bring DiCaprio into the public's attention and, after the sitcom ended, DiCaprio began auditioning for roles in which he would get the chance to prove his acting chops. Leonardo took up a diverse range of roles in the early 1990s, including a mentally challenged youth in What's Eating Gilbert Grape, 1993, a young gunslinger in The Quick and the Dead, 1995, and a drug addict in one of his most challenging roles to date, Jim Carroll in The Basketball Diaries, 1995, a role which the late River Phoenix originally expressed interest in. While these diverse roles helped establish Leonardo's reputation as an actor, it wasn't until his role as Romeo Montague in Baz Luhrmann's Romeo and Juliet, 1996, that Leonardo became a household name, a true movie star. The following year, DiCaprio starred in another movie about doomed lovers, Titanic, 1997, which went on to beat all box office records held before then, as, at the time, Titanic, 1997, became the highest-grossing movie of all time and cemented DiCaprio's reputation as a teen heartthrob. Following his work on Titanic, 1997, DiCaprio kept a low profile for a number of years, with roles in The Man in the Iron Mask, 1998, and The Low Budget The Beach, 2000, being some of his few notable roles during this period. In 2002, he burst back into screens throughout the world with leading roles in Catch Me If You Can, 2002, and Gangs of New York, 2002, his first of many collaborations with director Martin Scorsese. With a current salary of $20 million a movie, DiCaprio is now one of the biggest movie stars in the world. However, he has not limited his professional career to just acting in movies, as DiCaprio is a committed environmentalist, who is actively involved in many environmental causes, 
and his commitment to this issue led to his involvement in The Eleventh Hour, a documentary movie about the state of the natural environment. As someone who has gone from small roles in television commercials to one of the most respected actors in the world, DiCaprio has had one of the most diverse careers in cinema. DiCaprio continued to defy conventions about the types of roles he would accept, and with his career now seeing him leading all-star casts in action thrillers such as The Departed, 2006, Shutter Island, 2010, and Christopher Nolan's Inception, 2010, DiCaprio continues to wow audiences by refusing to conform to any cliché about actors. In 2012, he played a mustache-twirling villain in Django Unchained, 2012, and then tragic literary character Jay Gatsby in The Great Gatsby, 2013, and Jordan Belfort in The Wolf of Wall Street, 2013. DiCaprio is passionate about environmental and humanitarian causes, having donated $1 million to earthquake relief efforts in 2010, the same year he contributed $1 million to the Wildlife Conservation Society. Family. Children. No children. Parents. Ermeline DiCaprio. George DiCaprio. Peggy and Farrar. Trademarks. Often appears in the films of Martin Scorsese. Often plays conflicted, tortured by their own demons characters, who need to deal with their past. Often plays hard-edged anti-heroes. Intense emotional acting style. Often stars in period films or plays real-life individuals. Back. Biography. Awards. Trivia. FAQ. IMDb Pro. Leonardo DiCaprio at an event for Inception, 2010. Biography. Leonardo DiCaprio. Overview. Born. November 11, 1974, Hollywood, Los Angeles, California, USA. Birth name. Leonardo Wilhelm DiCaprio. Nicknames. Leo Lenny D. Height. 6 feet, 1.83 meters. Mini bio. Few actors in the world have had a career quite as diverse as Leonardo DiCaprio's. DiCaprio has gone from relatively humble beginnings, as a supporting cast member of the sitcom Growing Pains, 1985, and low-budget horror movies, such as Critters 3, 1991, to a major teenage heartthrob in the 1990s, as the hunky lead actor in movies such as Romeo and Juliet, 1996, and Titanic, 1997 to then become a leading man in Hollywood blockbusters, made by internationally renowned directors such as Martin Scorsese and Christopher Nolan. Trademarks Often appears in the films of Martin Scorsese. Often plays conflicted, tortured by their own demons characters, who need to deal with their past. Often plays hard-edged anti-heroes. Intense emotional acting style. Often stars in period films or plays real-life individuals. Trivia Bought Kate Winslet an inscribed gold ring, after they finished filming Revolutionary Road, 2008, together. However, Winslet keeps the inscription a secret. DiCaprio, along with Kate Winslet and director James Cameron, publicly pledged to support the financial future of the last living Titanic survivor, Melvina Dean, after it was reported that she had been forced to sell her mementos to pay for nursing home bills. Is named after Leonardo da Vinci because he first kicked in his mother's womb when she saw Leonardo da Vinci's artwork at the Uffizi Gallery, his artist father felt it was apartment. His paternal grandfather's middle name happens to be Leon. Robert De Niro and Jack Nicholson are his favorite actors. December 26, 2012, attended Kate Winslet and Ned Rockwell's wedding in a private ceremony in New York. He also gave the bride away. Quotes The best thing about acting is that I get to lose myself in another character and actually get paid for it. It's a great outlet. As for myself, I'm not sure who I am. It seems that I change every day. People want you to be a crazy, out-of-control teen brat. They want you miserable, just like them. They don't want heroes, what they want is to see you fall. On working with Martin Scorsese in Gangs of New York, 2002, he's a perfectionist, obsessed with detail. 
that's why he went over budget and over schedule. You can either be a vain movie star, or you can try to shed some light on different aspects of the human condition. It's a really obvious thing to say, but the more people know too much about who you really are, and it's a fundamental thing. The more the mystery is taken away from the artist, and the harder it is for people to believe that person in a particular role. Salaries Killers of the Flower Moon, 2023, $30 million Don't Look Up, 2021, $30 million, includes back end. Once Upon a Time, in Hollywood, 2019, $10 million The Audition, 2015, $13 million the Wolf of Wall Street, 2013, $25 million, including bonuses.